Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Olinda. I'm Marco Loso and you. And for those who've been here, thank you very much for always coming back. So guys, today as you can see, I have guests around. Today is a bit different, it's not the usual Ima alone or with so many people outside, but today is a bit different. So I have my friends, um, they introduce themselves. This is... Hi guys, my name is Selina and Gracie. So these are my guests today. Um, what you're going to do, you're going to be talking about toxic relationships and toxic friendship and lessons you've learned and what you would have learned earlier, maybe in our early 20s compared to now. So how you can handle such and how you can avoid such. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so uh, maybe to start with, I'll be, let's just say, have you ever been maybe in a toxic friendship or toxic relationship? Yeah, that took it yeah, as well. For, for me, I have been in a toxic relationship and also I've been um, toxic friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Gracie? Toxic friendship. Ah, so guys, as you've heard, I've also been in both toxic uh, relationship and toxic friendship so today's the day let's learn how we went through it how you overcame it how we are here now and how you can avoid that mm -hmm. so uh, to start with i'll say sometimes we are in a toxic uh, situation and we really don't know it's toxic unless someone tells you it's toxic you might say i've never been in one Sit down. yeah yeah. Uh, myself, I've never been in one, I've never experienced one. So, I'll let my friend tell us what exactly what toxic is and how she experienced it, and yeah, and so on. So, it's just a conversation, nothing serious, just just kind of talk home to skizze. You can learn one or two, yeah. And remember, subscribe, share, comment, like. So, for me, uh, what is toxic when it comes to friendships and relationships is when you're in a situation where somebody might cross your boundaries uh, more than uh, one time or twice without coming in with an apology so if you find that uh, you have certain friends who will cross you and when they come back they, they come back without an apology like if everything is just all right I think that is toxic and also when it comes that is the friendship part and for the relationship part, if you're in a toxic relationship when you notice signs like you've had an argument with your person or you've tried to express yourself that something is wrong and your person just comes to you without apologizing or seeing that the intentions were bad and they need to to like mend their ways. So they come back to you like pretending and everything is just right. And they will want to move forward, and it it keep, now it keeps on repeating itself. Repeating itself. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Toxic. Uh, that's how, that's that, that's how we can define toxic, and maybe you experienced or not. But as we get to talk more, you'll get to know. So, and crazy in your own terms, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> toxic. Friendship in the sense that um, see, mm. and I take advantage of something you have, or this neighbor is also. I got to. Like when I when I say that I'm see, and I take advantage in the sense that you don't do anything, because mm -hmm. your friends, they will do something knowing that you're my friend, so. Yeah, you won't do anything. Yes. Like you're supposed like to pardon I'm, I'm pardon to every yeah, time. Yeah, every time I'm not gonna get to and it's it's harmful, maybe in a kumiza but they'll be that's when the best day I'm <laughs> Yeah. So that's toxic as well. Uh, for me I've had let's say relationship that is toxic and at some point I didn't know until the time I was being told you know that is toxic, but me to kata hey 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 to katana bd you're like no i'm okay nini so someone will do something and make it a habit you know 
Um, if you don't address it or if you don't do anything about it, it will become a habit and it will harm you without you knowing. So that's why we are here today. Um, just want to tell you, in case you experience something is big, it's not normal, you know, someone being toxic is not normal. This person can turn into a psycho, you know, you never know. It's not normal. You can you can be in a relationship, but that is toxic. If if you know you're not supposed to be there, you are worth more than this, you won't move. Maybe I'm on a... the same topic. Mm -hmm. If I don't like maybe you two mm -hmm. you can maybe say explain why will someone beat you and still still stay? Mm -hmm. Why would someone be toxic yes. and yes. still yes. stay? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. if you have a comment <laughs> down below. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, why would you still because some stay? people will not understand, some people yeah. will be like, No, it's normal. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So guys, tell us why would you stay in a toxic relationship or a friendship? friendship. So you can comment down yeah. below and give us the reason why people do stay that. Stay, yeah. Rather than <clears throat> choose to stay rather than live because we are not saying living is easy, but maybe, maybe you have a reason. Maybe you have a reason why you keep on staying. Yeah, Please yeah, yeah. Share with us. Yeah. Uh huh. So, you guys are all the not in your early twenties. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so tell us your experience with friends with, in your relationships. Yeah. How did you How did you realize at what point did you realize this is now toxic and you went out and or you walked out? Uh, for me, uh, in my early twenties, I can say I was in uh, campus. I had my first relationship and it was the part where I experienced sexual relationship. It was the first one. And it was the first uh, the first year, it was okay. The relationship was okay. Until the second year and the third year, it was in a toxic relationship for almost five years. And then with friends, I was in a toxic friendship that I used to like um, to ignore the toxic traits in the friends because I thought they are my childhood friends so I would give them uh, so many chances for them to be my friends and yet I couldn't believe that I couldn't like accept that these friends were toxic despite them being uh, my childhood friends so I kept uh, giving them the benefit of doubt that uh, they are they're going to change or whatever was being told by people like I should stay away from them I used to like say maybe I should give them chances yeah yeah so my early 20s that's when I I saw the signs and I experienced the toxic uh, nature of friendship yeah you know sometimes uh, they instead of making you grow when I produce a new one if you want to progress if you, or if you want to do something instead of them looking for a way of encouraging you or something what a kataza is something that will maybe be of benefit to you so but i have friends who will think hey, I'm say at a, maybe at a progress at a kataza don't accept that that is that that's a friend who is toxic a friend should Okay, if it's something wrong, they can discourage you. But if something that can benefit you in a way or the other, then they should encourage you. Instead of looking for a way of making you feel like the, that particular thing you want to do is wrong. They never see anything right you want to do or everything you tell them I want to do this, it's wrong. Don't. It's wrong. Don't. Stay away. You see? See them all. Yeah. 
have you have you experienced like what was it about what and how did you just uh, people taking advantage of your maybe personality of you in the sense a, that you are not you don't know how to stand for yourself yeah, mm-hmm. yeah so maybe yeah. they will take advantage in the sense that ah oh, I'm poor let's do this I can do what I do, I do. do uh, yeah. Yeah. so and it becomes top toxic in the sense that it will hurt you emotionally yeah mm-hmm. true yes, true, so true that's that's my part yeah. yeah and how did you manage to walk maybe out of such friendships you know magical mm. yeah. did you come did you take a mkutano ama kupata advice from someone at no no kuna vinye some things you see it you see them for yourself una jione and then you're like no is about the right environment take. for me so let me just walk out yeah, yeah. in a very silent way mm. no violence mm. no mm. Mm. just your own. so when you walk away and um, you know because you know toxic people have this nature of usually coming back so if uh, after you walking away uh, did they like try to approach you yeah and, of course and they will they will you. say hi blah 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 mm-hmm. At the same time they will notice my vibe is not there. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. once they notice they give up. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. So you 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 just say hi back but you change your tone and how you used to yes. approach them. It's oh. no longer the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also did that. So I also did that uh <coughs> I think uh with the friends also. Mm-hmm. I I just reached a point and said no. I'm not it's going to yeah, it's done. I'm not going to accept that if somebody like knows that you've done wrong she or she has done wrong to you they need to come back to you with an apology my life is not a toilet where you can just come and shit and and walk out and come and again come, and shit yeah. without just telling me you know last time you weren't good i did this wrong so i also changed my vibe the energy towards them if it was hanging out a i reduced the amount of time i used to uh, hanging out with them not that you know the good thing about uh good people I, i'm not saying that we are perfect but yeah. the good thing about people who give chances is uh even if you know that this person was toxic you just not tell them and start like arguing with them or saying you are a bad person you still communicate but you just change the way the you way. used to communicate before so you change your vibe and energy and once that becomes a habit that person will know oh this one doesn't want anything to do with me and then like just step away from your life yeah i did that yeah, so uh for me as i said i uh, saw so guys uh as i was saying uh, hmm. uh for what i did i was in a toxic relationship for quite some time uh what i did there's just this one time i had tried that given it all the chances all the benefit of doubt but it got to a point i just walked out and i did not look back i just walked out i decided enough is enough i can't take this anymore um it was toxic in this sense uh, the person used to play with my my mental state you know and uh, that is toxic as well this person will do something wrong as she said they won't apologize just leave come back you know that is toxic and that's a very toxic behavior so what i did eh manzani lujikata nikalan into was <laughs> was but at least i tried my best and i stepped out and i moved and i moved like i moved it's it's not easy to just walk out uh, of relationships or friendships but I managed I managed I moved that uh, so when when it's no longer serving the purpose you know but you're stress all the time jito itu jito itu as much as we give chances and benefit of doubts if you come point you feel like you can't take it anymore just walk out don't let anyone mess with your mental state don't let anyone play with your emotions not not even a friend you know that's the way they say parents can be toxic as well don't even let your parents be toxic to you if you feel like your parent is being to- toxic there's no way you can walk away from your parent but you can talk to the parent and tell him or her this is what you're doing and i don't feel it's okay with me so 
it's not all about friendship or relationship parents uh siblings extended family members just learn how to say enough is enough in a good and just live for your peace of mind okay for uh minutes so maybe some people might confuse argument and toxic being toxic, being toxic yeah. i'm uh, fighting and being being toxic. Toxic. there's a difference yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So for me, maybe if if you if you guys fight a lot, let's say in a, in a period of seven days you fight five times in those seven days, mm -hmm. that's toxic. That, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. very toxic. Yeah. So even if, but if it's like two days, one day, that's 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 it's, it's healthy. Yeah, it's healthy yeah. since. Because manga we are not perfect mm -hmm. and what we can say is that people are toxic. So yeah, people true. should differentiate between yeah. fighting and being toxic. And when I say fighting, I don't mean physical. physical. Yeah. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You just disagree. Yeah. Yeah. That's normal. Yeah. Yeah. So I think maybe as we summarize it all, I can say... Mm -hmm. I can say... say uh if you stay in a place i'm with someone so uh when when you stay with someone and each and every day you feel at peace that's not toxic that's nice that's awesome actually but there's that state some situation whereby mm -hmm. you are just chilling alone mm -hmm. then when this person comes in you mm -hmm. feel like what? your peace has been invaded yeah. yeah yeah you feel like oh my god some can do at mm -hmm. the same time you guys are friends or in a relationship yeah, yeah. yeah. that's it means that you are toxic to each other yes mm -hmm. emotionally yeah. like, so if it continues like for a longer time the feeling that bad feeling it means that you should just cut it off because it in a manisha, this person will not give you peace in the mm -hmm. sense that if that's how you, you feel every time yeah, yeah. around this person mm -hmm. at the same time you are faking like oh my god we need your friends yeah mm -hmm. that that's that's toxic just work to your okay. peace of mind yeah 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 maybe mm -hmm. that's true mm -hmm. I feel as if, but uh, the point where you say that we should differentiate between fighting and arguing and now being toxic. I think um, there are healthy arguments, yeah. like we are friends and sometimes we argue. Yeah, yeah. There are healthy arguments. The healthy arguments, you, you tell from the healthy arguments, when you are arguing, uh, the other person doesn't insult your looks. Yeah. Like doesn't try to compare you with someone else. So when you're talking in a relationship, when you're fighting, mm -hmm. like you cannot tell your girlfriend or your guy, uh, you you don't have a car in the mm -hmm. middle of a of a conversation. conversation or in a fight. Like you're trying to compare that person with a person who drives, and maybe that your partner doesn't have a car. So, uh, healthy fights and arguments are okay. The minute they become toxic is when. Uh, you you are start, you are becoming so personal. Like you're trying to make the other person feel so small. You know, arguing is just trying to make to to co to try and correct the other person's views. You are you have like your tone is low. You are not loud. You are not like in fighting. You are not physical um, abusing the other person. That's healthy. So if you want to differentiate between the two. It's okay. You just know, like, we can argue or we can fight in a relationship, but we will never get to the point where you have insulted me or you have compared me with another lady. Maybe my shape is not like the way you wanted. Such <laughs> things. Yeah. If yeah. Now it sure. gets to that point. Now that's toxic. That's yeah. a toxic fight, and also the arguments also. They are hell. It's okay to to argue Argue and fight. Yeah. yeah. Sure. yeah. Yeah, true. It's a certain person I'm out. But anyway, yeah, it's true. There's there's the healthy arguments and there are the unhealthy yeah, arguments. Yeah, yeah. So you the moment you learn to differentiate that, yeah. then you are on the right yeah. track. Yeah, even you as yourself, like when you're arguing with the person, like you know you need to know like how to, the words to use. Yes. Remember yeah. you're trying to make uh 
to also make the other person also thinks they are right and you also think you are right. So there is no point that you want yourself to be right to the point that you are going so personal and you are stooping so low. So that's the thing. If you go like you are stooping so low and I think also I learned like in arguments, listen, learn to and fight, learn to listen what the other what the other person is saying and where the other person is coming from. If you learn to do that, you will be having very healthy arguments with your friends, with your spouse, and it will be just okay and not toxic. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And then another topic that maybe I can bring on is when uh, Ima said after the toxic relationship she went into another toxic relationship uh, also like friendship so like what are the effects i just want you guys to like comment down below what are the effects of toxic relationship and toxic friendships because for her she said if you listened well and if you didn't go back and listen to what she said yeah. that she well, she was in a toxic relationship and then she went to a toxic one so the effect the effects of toxic relationships and friendships so there's the aftermath yeah because now you are from a place where somebody toyed with your brain and made you feel worthless, worthless. or somebody took advantage of you yeah. so what next after that what how do you like become yourself because now you have become somebody that you weren't yourself like this is somebody you've been imaged by somebody else so um i'll just ask you guys to comment down below the if they comment yeah the aftermath after the toxic relationship now you're from the toxic relationship what happened what next? happens like yes. how we'll share our stories right now <laughs> as you listen maybe you can relate yeah please make sure you comment and please tell us what you think about uh what you've said and if you've been in one tell us how you dealt with it you know it's a learning process and learning never stops mm -hmm. and i'm also learning you know uh, sometimes you think you are doing good sometimes you think uh, the other person is toxic when in real sense you are the one who is toxic yeah so yeah, yeah, at true. some point you have yeah. to sit down and evaluate yourself Ask Gita, you, yeah. <laughs> kama utakuwa na pombe yako tu kama utakuwa na maji yako mm. na juice mm. na maji yako ya ndimu kama sisi you can do that yeah. but jita it might be you yeah. you might be the problem yeah. if you find out maybe you are the problem try and solve it mm -hmm. but just sometimes you do something until the other person tells you hey, by the way you did this and i didn't like it maybe you've been doing it repeatedly yeah yeah you yeah. sit down and evaluate yourself and say mm -hmm. hey yeah well and you know such characters that's what uh ends up being toxic because mm -hmm. you keep on doing that yeah doing that to the other person you do it, do, it, do it repeatedly and you'll be out here saying you know this person is doing this to me yeah. so yeah. Yeah. are you toxic ask yourself that question are you toxic don't answer us just jiulize na kujijibu if you've yeah. seen maybe have a trait that is toxic try and change it that's it yeah. so when i'm talking about uh, the effects of a toxic relationship or a friendship my question goes to gracie like uh after now you've discovered that these people are toxic your friends are toxic and you've like stepped away from them what was the aftermath after that? Uh, for me, this is a first before even, of course, we live, uh, we are humans, we need people around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, of course, we'll go make new friendship. Yeah, yeah. But before we do that, have that, can I say, period mm -hmm. of. Uh, that and this is a work for mom too. But it will take your time mm -hmm. to, to be know sure if know this is you want to get back to friendship and all that. And we have lots of friends. Yes, you can shift through different people, but first, premier. Yeah, yeah. Don't rush. Don't don't rush at it. And from here, no. Let yeah. me jump to this. Take yeah. your time. Uh, understand maybe even yourself. Yeah. yeah understand yeah. the person you want to be involved with so that you can move in. move yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah.
so Is like time, um, time did, now uh now that you've experienced the toxic friendship did uh did you use any like when when you had the new friends did uh did it comes to you like when they did something wrong did it take you back and reminded you of what the other friends did did after after now of course yeah of course there are those scenarios yeah but when you look the at triggers. the bigger picture yeah. you look like the intention wasn't the same oh yeah, yeah. True, true. that's true. different true. Yeah. yeah the, the intention yeah. yeah it's not the same as like, the previous one yeah, yeah. True. then you'll be like okay this is just a normal one yeah yeah, yeah 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 i think i've also had that so when it comes to my relationship because at first it was hard like sinking into the new relationship and i'm used to somebody being toxic i think the intention like Muta, like Rissa says say, yeah. the intention is what matters like this time you're comfortable and you are very peaceful yeah. understanding someone's intention because being toxic is someone hurting you on purpose, on purpose. and doing it over and over, over again. again yeah on yeah. purpose yeah so, so this thing because not everything is perfect yeah the friendship cannot be perfect and the relationship can never be perfect so you just need to like go behind and just take uh take a step and say is this is his or her intention uh pure or oh. it's purposely to hurt me okay.